Hello, this video is going to be on uh, grids. This is how I create my grids. There's numerous ways to create grids, as you can see over here. Uh, obviously, you, need, you can do curved grids as well, but we'll just stick to the basics. So, what I do is I'll just create one single grid. And let's call it number one. And I'll put the edging on it. And then what I'll do is I'll copy these. So, if I want to have them all the same, I can use an array in the copy. And we'll do six grids, and there'll be 25 feet between each of them. There's your grids, and I will go back through and just rename them. I'll do this in both directions. It takes, obviously, the other ways you can create your grids a little bit faster. But this way, I have more control over my grids in my drawings. So, in the drawing now, I can extend and shorten these grids uh, individually. Now, I don't know if they've changed it in advanced steel, but before, all the grids used to be kept the same. So, what I can do then, obviously, you just do the same thing in the other direction. Also, a tip that I have that I used not to do is I used... Well, yeah, we'll do A. So, what I used to do is I would extend the grid lines past each other, but that seems to be bad practice because if I extend this out here, when you update your drawing, it's going to give you an extra uh, dimension out to this point. So it's better to keep this back in here, I think. Uh, now, in the management tools, also you have some grid settings, which maybe you would want to uh, trick around with, that's up to yourself. So, if we just have a quick look before the end of the video, sorry. Grids, general, and you can see you can lock the grids. The text is quarter inch, colors 20, and general, representation type standard. So, obviously, I put an S in there. You want to take the S out. You'll get a couple more options in here. Uh, I see balloon type rounded. So you can go through these settings. So just use the filter tool here. Alright, thank you.